All right. We should be back now. Apologies. So, the reason that I need to restart that is because, and only because, um, if I said that it was made for kids, even though it's, it, it, it is, but it's not, uh, the problem is then it disables chat. I want chat. So I think the reason that it can't do that for chat is because if it's made for kids, the moderation and stuff, you know, they can't guarantee, like, anything online is unrated, right? So I think that's why they do it that way. So, um, yeah. So we're going to actually move our screens around here. All right. Because I, I don't know why. I just I should be straight, like, like this um, when I'm playing with you guys because this is more natural for me. So, all right. So today we are... Um, well, we were grinding for some EVs. Um, we were grinding for some Pokemon. Um, I feel like that's pretty loud in my ear right now. So... Let me turn that down a touch. Actually, can you guys hear that? You should be able to. Yeah. Let me turn that down just a touch for y'all. Just to make sure that's just me. Yeah, I think it's just me. So, we're going to get an Annihilate really quick here. I guess you've reached this 20 times. So here's what we're trying to do today. We are trying to do a couple things. We're trying to EV train our uh, Pokemon that we might end up using in DVC at Indy. So you can see in the top right corner, that way, somewhere. Uh, we have our Indie Regionals team. Just wanted to give you guys, like, a quick overview of, like, what the team's looking like. So, as you can see, we have Chi and Pao. Uh, he's been doing We're testing, uh, um, we are testing, uh, Arcanine Hisuian. Because Hisuian Arcanine is, uh, kind of... That's the word I'm looking for. Um, it's either him, Entei, or... Um, what was the other person I was thinking of? I was thinking of like, Iron Hands. I was thinking of you know a couple other Pokemon to put in his place because... I just don't know who that kind of beast leader has. Because I have Archeladon. Who's kind of easier? I have Tornadus, who's kind of like eh, midway. I mean, Flutter Mane's a glass cannon. Urshifu is kind of a glass cannon. Chi and is kind of a glass cannon. So I can't really have another glass cannon. Um, now, to be honest, uh, Arcanine is a little bit of a glass cannon, but you know we're we're gonna test them out. We're gonna track some stats. For this team what this team's win-loss record looks like after a little while. And then we're going to see, um, from there, we're going to just test and, and see what happens, right? So we're going to see, like, um, uh, what our win-loss record is when we have Hisuian Arcanine versus Lugus versus a Entei versus a Dragonite uh, versus an Iron Hands or a Raging Bolt. So, um, and honestly... Iron Hands or Raging Bolt might even have to go in for Archeladon just because, uh, the, uh, well, more so Raging Bolt would have to go for Archeladon because of the um, Dragon typing. So really, I'm thinking Dragonite or anything, or I'm um, It's just that sixth, that, just that sixth teammate. I don't, I don't know who it's going to be. So, at least not for sure. I I'm pretty sure I like the way Hisuian Arcanine plays. I like the Rock Slide, I like the um, Paranormal for Extreme Speed. Except I could do that also with Dragonite and maybe go multi-scale, add some beefiness there. So, and I do have a Dragonite that's already EV trained, it would just be a matter of just moving around some EVs maybe, or just changing his ability, which I have ability patches and capsules for. So, um... That's kind of what we're doing today. We're finishing up some of the Kitakami Pokedex. Um, just because 
today might be a weird day I didn't say specifically, oh, we're finishing up the Kid Economy Pokedex. Oh, today we're doing ranked battles. Oh, today we're doing EV training because, to be honest, we might be doing all three. So we're going to just kind of leave it open. Um, obviously, if you have any questions on what we're doing today, please just feel free to put it in the chat. Uh, let's see, because yeah, we got two bottle caps already, we got ability capsules, I mean, we're we're good to go. So like I said, what we're just trying to do right now is we're just trying to fi finish the Kid Economy Pokedex. Um, and this, this needs to get cleaned up eventually, but, um, so right now, actually, what we need to do is we need to grab our friend Palmot. So, I also have sprites for, like, we try to King Gambit, we try to Goldango, Golden Go. Uh, Incineroar is everywhere right now, and I've had an Incineroar. I was actually using it a little bit earlier. Um, Latias, I had just because of Tailwind, but I think Tornadus, or possibly even Landorus, are going to be our Tailwinder. Uh, we had an Ogre Pond for a while. I liked Ogre Pond, but I just felt like he wasn't quite where I needed him to be. And then we have the Arc the Dragonite, who is just, like, a tanky sweeper. Like, I think I might go back to Dragonite, just because it counters the Intimidate coming from Incineroars. The normal Terra with extreme speed. The only thing I'm kind of iffy about is the Stomping Tantrum. Um, might swap that out. So, you know, and even Outrage, I might go for Dragon Pulse, because Outrage, you're just locked into it. I mean, if you're Choice Band, you're locked into it anyway, so I guess it's not that big of a deal, but I would just use like Draco Meteor or something like that. whatever is the strongest thing because it's or well the strongest physical dragon attack it's maybe not outrage we'll see um so that's kind of where we're at right now here um so yeah um toothless the dragon knight by the way yeah, so we tried a few things. Um, you know, King Gambit, it was really a trick room counter, but I have Chi and Pao, which is kind of a trick room counter, especially if I move Sucker Punch for uh, Throat Chop. Um, and I like U Turn Urshifu, but I might throw in uh, Poison Jab instead of Aqua Jet, especially with a Choice Scarf. It should be faster than pretty much anything that it's in front of with a Choice Scarf. So I, I need to tinker with him a little bit, I think. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at right now, friends. So we got a couple of false wafers here. We don't really have a lot to level up right now. So maybe we do. We have a Beldum. Which I think is in the no, we have a polywag. That's what we could level up right now. But so right now actually though. We just talked to Perrin because she gave us the hint to go to, um, to go find Blood Moon, Lunar, Lunar Luna, uh, Lu the, uh, Ursula, sorry. Bleh, words are hard. So that's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna go find her, we're gonna go catch her. Um, I did technically finish the game. I wonder if it saved. That was not here. Let me look at my key economy back quick, because that's... 155. So I wonder if I came back here, and I didn't realize it. Because I went to... I'm going to double check, but I went to the epilogue area. Up here. And uh, talked to Professor Kuro. I'm just gonna go do that quick. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go talk to him. I just wanna talk. I just wanna talk. I'm just gonna talk to him. It's like that, uh. I don't wanna call it, uh. Family Guy. Check. 
Also, this was a great way to get some help, I'll tell you what. It's like finding all these rare bones, like bang, 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 like. I was crawling through here because I'm like, oh, there's probably some Pokemon I haven't caught up here yet. So I was just exploring, you know, my Pokemon Master journey things, right? And then all of a sudden I get this cutscene and I'm like, what the? Well, here we are, right? I get this like cutscene and I'm like, oh, that's weird. We got time for another rage fist. As long as it doesn't psychic you, you'll be fine. Yeet! Good news because that's Rage Fist level for Primate, has XP for the two that need to evolve, and it's a new Pokemon, and it's something I can evolve, which is going to be a lot of what I'm going to be having to do, as you can see here. So, finish up that Dex. Keep coming. Then I need to look up like what certain ones are. Yeah. That's the one thing about this game that I'm like. So yeah, I was like right over... Not over there. Basically the pools... Uh, for those of you who don't know, because I mean, the DLC's been out for a while, so if you don't have spoilers, then you skip ahead. But, uh, basically the pools have like terra crystals, so I was walking over here, right? But I must have already done it because I got like right over here and then I saw Professor Turo. I'm like, oh, you're supposed to be a bad guy. Like, you're an AI. The last time I fought you, you tried to kill me. And uh, a lot of people didn't love that ending. I think people are too picky when it comes to endings nowadays. They want it to all be like this perfect, like, like, uh, what do you want to call it? Like, happy ever after ending. I mean, I get where people say, where people want that. I just don't think it's realistic to ask writers for, you know, especially when a lot of them are going through writer strikes and stuff. I, I think it's a lot to ask for a perfect ending to every single video game, every single, you know, whatever, you know, every single story. Everybody in every story in any medium wants the perfect ending. It's just not realistic. You know, it's just not to me. So that's why for me it's just like hey, y'all love it. All events. I mean I think they made a fine ending. I think the story itself is fine. Um, that's a little loud, isn't it? Yeah. 
throw it down here and see what happens. But, you know, it's... It's just one of those things, man, you know, that... I just don't... I'm fine with just a fine ending. So... Doesn't have to be perfect. Alright. And I thought for what it's worth that this ending was just... It was fine. And even this epilogue where they try to, like, even, like, fix it. I almost don't like it more when they go to, like, try to fix it as if they acknowledge that they're like, Oh, they didn't, you guys didn't like it. We did something wrong. We're going to fix this. Ah, uh, not my favorite move. Because then it just feels like you're, you're, uh, backtracking, right? Like, you could, like, I don't know. Just wasn't... I, I would have just rather them stuck with what they had and what they did, personally. But, that's just me. This whole Pal World stuff, too. Like, the Pokemon community right now just can't, uh, can't seem to... Because, like, here's the issue right now, if you're a Pokemon fan. Either you're like me and you're just playing Pokemon, you've loved Pokemon your whole life, and you're being chastised as being a Pokemon just fanboy. I can say a lot of more aggressive things that people are saying right now, but you're basically being called a little fanboy or fangirl, and that you'll just stand by Pokemon no matter what, and blah blah blah, and um, I think that's not fair because... Just because you like Pokemon and you think that this new game, this Hell World, is really popular right now, even though you can see exactly where they took a lot of stuff from, even though there are different mechanics and stuff, and to not be okay with it, but also to understand that at some point in time, Pokemon probably did grab inspiration from Dragon Quest. It, even though, in my personal opinion, the Dragon Quest sprites and the Pokemon sprites were much further apart. Even if you could say there's some resemblance, in my opinion, they were much further apart in their resemblance than what Pal World Pokemon are, from Dragon Quest Pokemon. Dragon Quest Pokemon, yeah, you could you could argue maybe a couple were like inspired by, but like there's an Electrive that's like the cover of Pal World. There's a Piplop. It's like obviously a pip club that you know was loaded into bazooka in one of the viral TikToks. Like, and it's very obvious that those are what those are. And so, you know, I just hope that no matter what really comes out of it, that you know, Pokemon just kind of says they do their own thing, right? They say, um, You obviously took some inspiration from us. Please don't do that, <laughs> right? Um, you you obviously are infringing on our IDs. Now, I do think there's a world where technically both of them could live in harmony, especially since like Pal World got like over seven million players like within like a week. But I don't think it doesn't come with major changes on Pale World's end. I think Pale World's really gotta change some stuff if they don't want to be sued into oblivion. And that that's just, I think, facts. That's, I don't even think that's opinion. I think that's just, that's just what's gonna have to happen. You know what I mean? It's just, they're not going to be able to keep going without this constant Pokemon thing on their backs. And I think they knew that coming in, that they would have to, like, uh, deal with this. Um, uh, I don't want to do that. Um, I forgot, Gloach, not, like, Poison Bomb or whatever. So, again, I think they knew what what they were doing. They knew they were going to get attention for being a Pokemon clone. I mean, everything I saw marketing-wise, everybody's just talking about, it's Pokemon with guns! It's Pokemon with guns! And to just know that they didn't do anything to say, no, it's not Pokemon with guns, to try to, like, even cover their own butts, that kind of tells me all I need to know about Pale World, that they just they're just trying to 
I think they figure they're just going to make millions of dollars off of this first like couple of weeks of it just being a Pokemon ripoff, and then they're going to, uh, and then from that point, they're just going to, um, just go and hiding somewhere. Maybe not go and hiding, but they're just going to be like, oh, we made our money. I mean, we don't, we don't need to, you know, um, you know, we don't need to stay in this market or whatever. You know, obviously Pokemon's coming after us. They're not going to stop because a, a, a conglomerate like Pokemon is not going to stop coming after them. Their lawyers will not rest. So if they do choose to come after them, they're going to come after them hard. And they're going to be real lifeless. So, excuse me. That's my two cents on Power World, though. I think it's probably fun as heck. I think I would try it. I did download it. <clears throat> um, just to kind of see like what all the hype was about. Is it really that good? Or is it just like... I, you know what I mean? Um, cause everybody's saying like, no, it's that good. Like, even people I know at work are like, you gotta try it. You know, it's, you know, GTA meets this, meets that. Meets, obviously, Pokemon. Alright, this Glamora is really... But don't want to evolve my game. <sighs> I have no idea what that was. No clue. Alright, let's try a timer ball. Which, by the way, the, the team 2 that I have up there, that team's all done. Uh, it's just a matter of... Um, when I say, like, all done, it's... They're all caught. They just need to be EV, IV, move, nature training. Although I did uh, start thinking that I'm going to do uh, for my TikTok, because I can't stream to TikTok right now and it really makes me upset. However, uh, because I need a certain following or meet certain guidelines, whatever. So what I'm going to do... Yes, got it. Uh, ooh, baby. I should just uh, copy, not copy copy, but I should just uh, do what Eric Zane does with the Great Efforts Griffins games. He should go whoop whoop! That's what we need to do when we catch a Pokemon. Whoop whoop! It's like getting a goal. Whoop whoop! Alright. Okay. Well, that's two birds and one stone. And that's part of why I wanted to do that, is because I knew that if I caught it, something was going to evolve, whether it was coughing or something. And we have more cargo. So we're only like. 30-ish Pokemon away from being maxed, and honestly, some of them will have to just be trades, so, like Poliwag, whatever could just be leveled up, so like our cargo, boom, you're done, so Poliwag, you can come on over, boom, easy, uh, but yeah, that's basically what we're doing here. I should just go to the Pokemon Center. Can I, like, fly here now? Besides, I need to go to, like, the Timeless Woods. Yeah. Oh, but don't talk to me about Ogre Poppin' or Ogre Bustin'. First of all, they did Ogre Poppin' so dirty. So dirty. Secondly, um... Not only did they do Ogre Pond Dirty, but uh, that game is impossible unless you have a full squad of four people that you could communicate together and that all know what's going on. And like, no, I got this side, you got that side, blah, 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 blah. Unless you have that, don't even bother. Even, even medium, I couldn't finish um, in time because things would... Uh, things would catch it in time. Like, things would go to my thing and start stealing all my stuff. 
And I'm like, first of all, WTF? Second of all, um, I just couldn't catch up to him in time before it was like, oh, by the way. See, like, I need to get a Gligar somehow. I, I don't even know how to do that. And then I need to trade him. I need to trade a Gengar. I need to uh, evolve to be sure. A uh, Como, oh, I need to figure out how to evolve, but that's not going to take too long. So, I mean, we're getting there. I need uh, a Feebas. So, Glamora is the max there. Missing two there. Missing a Dusknoir. Missing a. Uh, something between a Mean Fu and a Dusko. I'm working on Annihilate. I'm kind of going in order to. I don't know where to catch a pulse shit geist. Oh, over there. And that's like exactly where I haven't gone to look yet, so. I'm guessing that's roughly the same. Alright, well, that helps. And I don't know where to find these Pokemon. Just in case. And we're working on them. I need another Apple one too. So we're, 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 we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's go get this. Let's take a break from that though. Let me get this. I can fly to the thing so it's So you know what really bothers me? Oh, I'm gonna change that. Oh, for Arceus, that's why. I was gonna say something that really bothers me. So. Also, OBS Studio is way better at doing my application capture, my application audio capture, that is. Because it can say, because I think Slobs wanted to say, okay, if it's not this exact title, I don't care, I'm not playing. Well, the title would change for Spotify every time I went to a new track, and I have multiple playlists that have, like, DMCA-free uh, music, right? That is doing... Oh, never mind. That is her. Um, so I was like, okay. You know, that kind of sucks because every time I change a new song, every time I go to stream again, I have to re-add that source. Well, in Sl OBS Studio, you could just say match executable. So if it's Spotify.exe, it doesn't care. Um... So that's the beautiful part about studio, just for those who are wondering. And, I mean, obviously everything is free. That's, you know, obviously one of the biggest, if not the biggest thing. And again, too, for me, for having my uh, docs, how docs are, like, I was able to add Twitch's dashboard as a doc and just make a custom one. I have YouTube chat right here, where it's slobs. It had, like, YouTube chat, but then you had to, like, slide over and click a different tab to go to multi-stream for anything else you Now, it makes multi-stream easy, but there's literally a... Especially if you're using Stream Manager on Twitch, there's literally a little tab that you can download that will say, uh... You know, you... You can just tap Start, and it'll go to Twitch or whatever. So... And eventually it'll go to TikTok. And really, I mean, I'm only streaming to those three. So really, I'll just add another little TikTok thing somewhere. There's managing that. I've even got YouTube Studio up, so it's like... So I've even still got room. Hello. Webcam. Thank you. Okay, cool.
I love how you can't hear like, the suspense in the music. Just because I like the lo-fi. We're in chill mood here. We don't we don't mess with like craziness like that. Also, you watch you for like 20 times. So. If he dies, he dies. Interesting. Speed lower and poison. I'm just doing it again to get that point out there. I don't care about levels, I care about rage fists. So, and if it killed it, it killed it. No, I'm fighting. Alright, now's where we go. Okay, good. Bye bye. Also, I should move that with the egg to whoever. I didn't know Palm would be there. Makes sense though, because I was grinding him because I like him a lot. It's one of my favorite weapons. And it's Zero Ledge. Zero Ledge. Whatever his name is. Something. This is also how you get, uh, oh, what's his name? Ranger Bolt. So that's part of why we're doing this. Actually, this is the whole reason why we're doing this is because, uh, we need to, well, I want to get a Ranger Bolt so I have the options, because I kind of mentioned this last stream, but one of the biggest problems that I have right now is that if the meta changes, because there's, like, multiple regionals before the May one that I'm going to in Indianapolis, um, if the meta changes and certain Pokemon are in and out, like Incineroar, great example, he went back into the meta, everybody's using Incineroar right now. Well, the problem with that is I have an Incineroar that's mostly ready. Well, the good news is I have an Incineroar that's mostly ready, but what if it's not Incineroar? What if it's not Dragonite? What if it's Raging Rule? What if it's Fluttermane, who I didn't have until this week, and I got lucky because of the raid event that was going on? If I didn't, if I didn't do that raid event, or if that wasn't going on, I would have had to try to find somebody in a Discord, try to trade with them, do EV training, and it would have just taken a lot longer than just getting the Fluttermane through the raid event. So, I want Rageable, Iron Hands, Iron Bundle. Uh, Raging Bolt, uh, maybe even a, a Walking Wake, uh, just because um, I don't want the meta to change and then I'm caught on my butt and I'm, I don't have IV trained. I don't have, e EVs can shift, but I don't have the right natures. I don't have whatever. Uh, so I have to photograph Pokemon. So I have to photograph all of the Pokemon in this area.
This is uh, not the most enjoyable. We're, we're going at a good rate. Whatever, either ghosty or something I haven't seen before. Here we go with that. There we go. Woohoo! That was one of the more less entertaining ones that I've done.
Wow. We just got deep. Capping alone together in the woods. There it is. Finally, we got him. He's upset he's free. Carl was like, nah. I ain't built for this. Oh, it's like a... Does it affect it? Ground, which is bad for me, but no, it's not. <laughs> We're just gonna do this real quick. Let's get it. hoping for. Oh boy. Good thing my attacks are physical. My. Okay, I don't think I was rightfully prepared for this, to be honest. It's probably like a level 85 or something. I actually don't know, so. If that's the case, we're, if we do lose, we're going to pull out our uh, <laughs> Dragonite Ogre Pod. I'm just gonna keep doing this until he makes me stop. Ooh, that might be enough to survive another one. Uh, uh, uh. Well, he, he keeps doing that, so. I think this is, uh. I think that means GG. Because I like when you were a kid, um. And you didn't want any moves that didn't do any damage. Those hurt. Those hurt. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's uh, hello four times effective. So now it's down to my three rookie seventies that are unleveled and unevolved. Oh boy, if this was like a wheezing, I'd feel a little better. We're, we're just gonna do this. Oh no, it don't matter. <laughs> he outsped him. I'm just say I'm like, hey, well at least let's take a chunk out of him. Nah. Nah. I don't know what last resort does, but I'm about to use it. Doesn't do. Okay. Let's yawn. Oh no. <laughs> it's faster. Well. Hydro pump! He's like, oh, he went first. Like oh, that barely touched it. Because of so many calm mines, that's why. Yeah, I need all my, like, best Pokemon here. Hey, crits. Just for the extra, like, screw you. Yeah, I'm aware. Ooh, that's a lot of money. I wonder if there's a max for how much you drop. I hope I don't have to do that survey thing again. No thanks. I'll pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Where's the boys? We're going in. Another really high level, like 100 something. Why not? I have no idea. Ah! Uh, oh, there. That's the last for you. Now it's screwed. Now we don't mess around. Wait, what? Okay. Just the zoom, folks.
Yeah, he definitely didn't mess me up last time, I promise. Promise he didn't beat me up last time. But low key, that Growlithe water did none of the smoke. I was like, nah. Nope. Oh my god, so there's like a little tiny bit of sunshine right now. I mean, honestly, Toothless almost took him out all by himself. So, what a... What a uh, difference from... <laughs> first and none of it was even super effective and if I had to move that could super effective hit it it would have been over I could have just let him there and said yeet Yeah, thanks. I didn't have a plan for that, to be honest. He laid down. He was like, nah.
Excuse me. You go to like the Mosfell confluence and stuff, apparently. But honestly, if I can get Raging Bolt after this, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I could have got the Arcanine from her too. Probably. Honestly, that might actually work out better for EV training purposes. To be honest, because my Arcanine was already EV trained. Of course, they just give you a Suian Arcanine. Of course. That's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's only level 15, though. I mean, I can fix that. That's actually good though. High speed, low special attack. That might be what it needs to be anyway. Oh, I really need to organize these boxes. <laughs> All right. probably go somewhere else and then come back to find her again. be okay there just because of the fact that because of um what's the word for? how many Pokemon we already have from there might be okay 
Well, Pokemon are shared between the Dexes, I think, too, so. Alright, where's Perrin? Figured she'd be over here. She's not here. I no wish she probably would be there. Oh. Might be a shorter stream today just because I spent a lot of my stream time setting up OBS Studio. So. Just as a heads up, we'll see how it goes. So where's Pierre? I feel like she would be in here. Find out. Savannah Rest Area One. Okay. That's why I wouldn't have found her here. Makes sense. Makes sense, makes sense. It does. Karen, where are you at, girl? Looking good. Oh boy, alright. See how far away we are from that, because there should be a lot of them that are, like, saved. 95? It wants me to catch 100 Pokemon! It's worth it to be honest. Uh, whew, um, I mean, here's the thing like, I could try, but like, I, I feel like I've caught a ton of the Pokemon in this area already. Like, a ton of them. So, I mean, here's one. I'll probably catch a few and then we'll just move on to something else because holy cow, that's a lot.
Hmm. Yeah, that's about it. We have a Rufflin Navaldi. Of all who we have now. All right, there's the net down. can do this. I believe in us. I believe that we can win. I believe that we can win.
don't think I have a Cantonian, Cantonian chorus. No. I don't think I have that captured out either. I don't know if I have a Frigoret. Oh god. Okay. Three of his moves are normal type, at least. And he probably knows a fighting move, so... Oh, he knows Swagger. Okay, he knows Swagger. That's fine, because I'm just about to start yucking Pokeballs anyway. Yuck. That's a critical catch. Cool. Things of like when I catch it, then I'll know. Because I know I remember I caught a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff when I first came here. That's why I'm like so surprised that I'm like so far behind. But I guess in a way it makes sense just because of the fact that like I uh, haven't upgraded all the fields yet. That's I need to grab some BBQs, get those taken care of. So I have a sand dial. But after completing the story and stuff, I think you do get stuff that you didn't before, if that makes sense. Like, I think you get... So I think I have, like, a mining plate or something. You're not even holding an item, so... Probably choice band would probably be the worst case I'm use my swipe. Did I catch it unawares? So like if I could find some rare candies on the floor, that would be like the best. Honestly, I don't think I have enough space to keep I don't I don't need Charizard, you know. I'd rather save that spot for somebody who can evolve by leveling so. The pistons are being thunder right now. Thunder are actually like decent this year. Surprise me. Shay, Jalen Williams. Uh, this is their guy. Cole, Celeski, or whatever. Oh, chat. Uh, those, those guys are going to be like a big three for them for a while, I think. 
I actually think it works in their favor, Chet being hurt last year. Not saying that he should have, like, just stayed hurt or whatever, because that's sketchy, but a few square fans out there, like, helps them get a better pick, because they didn't succeed as much, because obviously Chet was hurt, and they would have done better with Chet. Probably get rid of all the runs from my start. I was fast. Start bombing other things. Oh, that's much better. Because I need him behind it. Maybe I'll yeah, I have one HP, so it's like I'm gonna throw a Pokeball probably. the breviary now. <clears throat> so that means the Rowlet can go away. About to get the Zebstrika. Which means you're supposed to be able to evolve, but I don't know if it's by level. But either way, that's okay. We need another person. Part of a... Why don't we just open up our handy dandy Pokedex? I'm not taking a screenshot. Pokedex, please. Thank you. So, Smeargle, let's just pull in the body. I don't know where it is, but I obviously have one. First, because he goes away. Uh, yeah, I need the body. Such a cool Pokemon. I enjoy him too, I think he was like just five or six, actually. He, he's cool. He is so cool. That's a great design. Was it already at one? I think it was already a 1 and 2. Nice! We got it. Retaliate, huh? It's better than Howl, but I'm not going to use it once we get to VGC training. It is what it is, huh? I think I can give it a water. So. I'll worry about the polytoad later. I don't know if it fits a blueberry dance. This 
we'll find out. And I already have one of you, but... Yes, because that is a UGC move. 100%. So now, we can move Polygraph out of our party and just take the item. you away. I don't know how things to evolve. Uh, I caught some random stuff. Uh, crap. Where were they? Um, coughing seems to evolve. So there was a uh, annihilate. Not sure if they count for this, but Heal probably needs to evolve. But we're getting there. And I guess I just kind of go. Tommy Dex, huh? Almost completed the dang thing. Volibee. Volibee. you ended up in there. Probably a few of you that need to evolve from in there, but... You probably can. Oh, it means they're full. If you have enough ball for me. No, you do. Ooh, 
definitely know you do. Guessing Bramblin does, although I heard it has a really annoying evolution chain. No, you could be Ampharos, but I don't know if I have an Ampharos yet, so we're gonna put you in here just because I'm not positive. Then, no, you do. I know. Pretty sure you do. I think Sneeze are closer to Weevil. Uh, no, you can become a muck. I don't know if I have it yet. can evolve. Uh, I do have an Ampharos. Okay, so Clappy can go away. Organization is so fun. Organization is so fun. I think both of you have evolutions. I don't really know what's a part of the deck or not. So that's kind of where we are, at least right now. So where are we at on BBQs? Uh, nope. Okay. Hatch an egg. We are swapping that. We don't have any BP, though. In flight. Auto battle. Savannah biome. I want you to fly. You didn't fly. I don't know what I have and what I don't have anymore. 
just gotta figure it out, I guess. I guess I didn't have this. I thought I did. Oh, Pistons won another game. Look at that! Coughing evolved into wheezing. There's another one. Alone wheezing now? Yeah, he's done. Alright, wheezing's done. Yay. Oh, that was a twofer. Bat, bat, bat. My son's having fun downstairs. I think of like who I know evolves from leveling. Worst case, I can give him a water stone, right? It's been forever since I've had to worry about evolving so many Pokemon. Stone oval. Thought I had another water stone. Okay, well, <clears throat> I know I had a ride on somewhere. Yeah, ride on. I'm gonna make him a ride period. Well, he could be an electrode. I really just need to go by the decks and just figure out, like, yeah, I had a level 100 dock spawn. Okay, well, trying to find the ride on, that's why I remember now. Um, also, Churchwood. I know he can evolve. This be easier. So I have him. I have a Squirtle, he's a part of the Dax, actually. Okay. 
think for now, I, I don't know if I have an Excadrill. Excadrill. I think he can evolve. He can definitely become an Amoongus. Now it's getting like hard to know. He's black. Huh. I see you. My bit rate's at a thousand. Maybe that's why. Uh, we'll never figure out girls. Interesting. Nah, I wonder if it's because I'm streaming too high of a bit rate for uh, Twitch. That might be why. Cause that's what it recommended when I set up OBS. Yeah, I'm at like 9700 kbps. Cause if you go to my YouTube, you'll probably... That's a good call, cause that was before I used OBS Studio. Think for now. I think for now there's not much that I can do still. Without going one to one. One by one. I need to smash some things with Annihilate, so. Or Prime Ape to make it Annihilate. Eat. You're up, Esper. Man. These things are too strong. It's my... That's my bit rate. Probably too high, and I don't know if I can change it in stream. I think it's an OBS thing. Let me see. I might be able to change it during my stream. Stream, output, video bit rate. Let's go like... 700 kbps? Let's see if that helps. Although twi- oh. Twitch might not listen though. So let's just try this. Oh, you know why? So 
Now that's good. So now it's looking fine on my but worst case then we'll probably just probably looks fine on YouTube too now. It's weird that the VOD looks good though. That could explain a lot. That could really explain a lot though. Based on like... My four followers are probably getting tons of stupid notifications. But yeah, now I've got it. Hopefully... Now we're good. I'm just gonna wait for confirmation. So I set it down, I accidentally goofed, and I went it from down from 10,000, and I went to like 800, and then I left out a zero. So now I went to like 7,000 versus 10,000. So I dropped it like 30%, so that should be okay. It's still saying it's like, maybe high, but I don't know what Twitch recommends it to be at though. I mean, as long as you, yeah, it's saying it's unstable. Is it because of 60 frames? No, 50 frames has been fine. Twitch Inspector. Let's see. Right now it's saying it's stable. That's good. 7,000. So YouTube recommends 6,800. So I could go down to like, you know, that. But now Twitch is saying like, okay, you're good, supposedly. So configuration check. The average bit rate of the stream is too high. Source could also be removed. 4500, 5500? I could try that if YouTube doesn't yell at me. I mean, right now. And now it's fine. Okay. I wonder if it's because I'm trying to stream at 60 frames. Do you stream at 60 or do you go to 30? Because I might just go to 30 because then I'll need a lower bit rate. Because I mean, I'm also streaming on a Switch that only does 1080 60, so I don't know that I need. Actually, it might only do 30. I don't know. Wait, what just happened? Yeah, I can shoot you a screenshot of like what my OBS setup looks like. You do 60? Okay. Um, yeah, if I look fine to you for right now, I might just chill here and see what happens. But it, like, if somebody low bandwidth comes in though, that is kind of not good. 
I wonder if it's because Streamlabs said, oh, you can do this bitrate, but OBS Studio said, oh my gosh, you have like killer internet, you can stream at this high bitrate even though it doesn't matter. Coolio. <laughs> Can I not get working this time? Okay. So, okay. So we're good. And YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch probably all have different recommended bit rates, so it's probably just a matter of like finding the the median. And I kinda knew coming into this stream that like I might have to tinker with some stuff just because obviously like you know, I'm testing stuff and seeing what looks good. Um, hopefully my mic sounds good. That's the next two things on my list, DJ, are, sorry, Mayonnaise Man, are uh, getting, I mean, I'm using a 1080p webcam, um, which I think is like similar to what I gave you. I think you're using the same one. And I, my mic maybe sounds okay, but I don't know. I think there's room for improvement with both, but I just don't know if it's worth the investment at this point. I'm leaning no, but at least for right now. I think I would need to see more uh, growth before I feel comfortable doing that. Backwards. I froze again. Okay. So if you can see me, then I'm going to... I'll drop it again. I'll drop it to like, YouTube might yell at me, but I'll drop it to like 6,000. <laughs> see if that helps. I wonder if I can just do it now and if it'll yell at me or if it'll like just, cause it'll let me change it right now, which I think is weird. Yeah, I know you're right. I know you're right. Okay, I'm back now. So let me drop to like 5,500. Even though YouTube will yell at me, that's, I mean, obviously it works well for yours. So it yelled at me. And then now it's supposedly back. I'm gonna check my Twitch. Now it's saying I'm at six seven, so I'm gonna. No, you're good, man. Um, I'll probably just be on for a little bit longer. Live, no delay. So now I'm at stable at fifty four hundred. And actually, YouTube's not yelling at me right now either. So let's see if we found the sweet spot. See, this is why we do this together, you know? Well, I don't know what the song is, but it's popping. Uh. Uh. What is this? This is... Megalovania? I wonder where it came from. I get it. Get it. Get it. you served a purpose. So this should be a lot better. And I mean, you have gig internet, I think you said, so like, 
I'm not super worried about, you know, well, not I'm not worried about you, but, like, I'm not, um, super bummed. I'm going to save this inspector because that's actually a very handy tool because it'll notify me if it's not doing well. Still says I'm a, like a high herb bit rate, but now it's saying it's stable. So I guess we'll take that with a grain of salt. Also, we're not going to be able to. I don't know if I caught you guys. I do have a thicker earth. Bye bye. Also, Mayo, thank you for the follow. I want to say that it was a given, but there was one more follower. It's also the king of the Mayo militia. So, the king of the Mayo gun. Grace me with his presence. Kingdom knows no ends. Mayo is spread across all the land. Critical catch. Except when mayonnaise uh, needs to get on some dishes. Black screen. Oh, geez. I've been using the wrong microphone this whole time. <laughs> oh, man. Silly goose. I'm surprised I sounded fine. I probably sound better now. Let me make sure. I've been using my headset mic this whole time. Uh, video broadcast. Well, thank you, Kermingo, for verifying for me. I'm sorry I texted you for that, but I needed confirmation. Because <laughs> Mayo said it was black, but then I changed the bitrate, so I wanted to make sure that both of you could still see me okay, even though, yeah. Wheezing's done. This is my doesn't need to evolve box. This is my needs to evolve at some point box. I think a Kamala needs to evolve. Honestly, I'm not sure. I already have one of him. I needed to evolve you. Also known as Reiku. Oops. I also don't know if a Trumbeak needs to evolve, so I guess I'm gonna put him over here until I know. That bite definitely does. Shogun definitely does. That sounds being very cute. Like, ooh, uh, uh. Goody patootie. I think I need a water stone for. Mm, dust on, oval, quick claw, super, king's rock. Maybe 
give it to him and then trade it. That's kind of what I thought, but he has it now, so. Alright, I really want Annihilate to evolve, so we're just gonna, like, make this easy, because I can just fly back here whenever I want. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna go find out. And probably punch a lot of them. Size right now, it's Kermingo and Mayonnaise, man. My wife says hello, gentlemen, if you're still around. So does Teddy. I just now picked up Fly for the first time ever in this game. That's wild to me. Alright, where are these boys? Blah, blah, blah. I don't think I have a Fanfi. I don't have it, I'm just gonna catch it because it might be in the other decks anyway. I end the stream roughly around just because I've stopped and started it so many times. It looks like I'm about two hours total, so I'll probably stop it. Roughly half an hour. Get ready for the Lions game, get some food, and I'll lift my boy. Stunky. I don't know if I have a Torkoal. We're gonna find out. So we're gonna. Ah, so we're just gonna go punch some things, I guess. I've never caught a stunky. Well, except for everything, I suppose. Well, I can even delete messages. Okay. 
Okay, bit rate's happy now for Twitch too. It's in the green. And YouTube's not a simulator. I wonder if YouTube likes a higher bit rate. I went with the max of what uh, you do there, Mayo. So hopefully that 5500 will be a nice, uh, nice set there. You get a Rage Fist. You get a Rage Fist. You get a Rage Fist. I gotta be getting pretty close to 20, because I already have like 10 under my belt before I started to stream today. So I gotta be getting a little close, I think. On the bright side, everything's looking good in stream, and... We like that, so... Come on, Annihilate. Please. S sort it out, bud. Please evolve. The love of all things holy. Please evolve. I don't think I want YouTube Studio here. I think I want this site. But, yeah, I'll fix that next stream. Because I think I want it to show where I have, like, new subs. Like, chat's cool, but I want to see when I have a new sub. Hello, camera. Thank you. You gotta be getting close, dude. And what's an alley it evolves? I'll start grinding a lot on my own. To be honest, y'all want to see matches and stuff. You don't want to see. How do I camera? Camera, come back. Come here. Um, how do you want to see me grinding Rage Fist? Half hour. No, we definitely figured some things out, which is great. So, I enjoy that. I enjoy the feedback for sure there. Yeah, I definitely want to have my live dashboard on this extra tab or dock. Prime, are you done, boss? Huh.
Now I know I'm close. It said online you just had to see it use it 20 times. So I'm wondering if now I'm just going to use it up and then I'm going to evolve it and then we're going to see if it evolves. Because that's got to be the way. But I went down to zero uh, peep power points. Not going to say it out loud. I gotta say it out loud. It's family friendly, not for kids, I've learned, because that means you can't chat, but it is family friendly out here. Family friendly out here. Whoop, whoop. I mean, everything looks good on my end, though. So no drop frames. Uh, CPU percentage is great. I mean, which I have a killer CPU. So, I mean, I, I wasn't worried about that to begin with. Uh, I'm not using my GPU for anything. So, you know, just having to go through the capture card and having that basically use its resources versus, you know, in my Switch. Um, that's good. So now this guy should be a level up. There's no reason this stupid eight should not level up. And that's only because I'm trying to do it in chronological order from the things that I know. Let's see if I have anything that will make it evolve. Any candies? No? No candies, huh? Oh. We're gonna make Sirlage the lead. Chingling should have evolved by now, because I thought I got it at 70. Maybe not. I think Slowpoke needs levels. I think Volibee needs levels. Or A level. So let me go to Azadoza. See if I can't grab some stuff. Oh well, that one came over the mic. Is water stones. I'm just buying them out of bottle caps. I don't really need it. Now I should be able to evolve Slowpoke, I think. I think it's a water stone. No. Okay. I'll have to Google that then. I'm gonna go sell some stuff. as I thought. All right, let's go. I don't remember where the heck I needed to go. That's where I was, so that's where I'm going. 
I need a couple BBQs to get a new main quest, which is a bummer. Which is kind of why this is like somewhat a good place to stop, but I need to auto battle a few times. I'm pretty sure that after your, um, your stuff is up, once you finish the story or whatever, that um, you you unlock more Pokemon that you can encounter, which makes sense. Like this alone, this alone boy. He's a dragon type too, so I'm gonna catch him. Either way. Oh no, he knows I have a choice band. What am I gonna do? He knows about the choice band. Not like he can do much about it. So this is two birds, one stone, because it's a BBQ and it's a uh, new Pokemon. All right. Bay about running and then just throwing another quick ball. Yeah, I'm staring at this. That's the schmoove. Uh, between Leech Seed and Mega Drain, this is never gonna end. Never gonna end. Also, it's kind of laggy because of all the stuff that's rendered right now. So I'd rather just get this out of the way. No! Avoid. Thank you. One, not a big deal. Ugh, I'm getting so annoyed because of how That wasn't for the BBQ and the Pokedex. I would have said, "Nah, no thanks." And the levels. Also, why is that a dragon type? Man? Also, he he leveled up. That's annoying.
I think the water is what makes it bad. That's gotta be it. Nope, not pork portal. Nope, nope, nope. Washing my art line. Don't mind me. Also, a fire rock type, very weak against water, but I guess this doesn't count. I think I need to start just destroying things. Ooh, it's like I don't think so. I do not. I don't think so. I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to try. We're on the first try. We're on the first try. Nope. Not even close. Beefy boy, so Come on, get in your home. That just said no, sir. We need to give it another false wipe? So I mean, he can't hurt me, so... Okay, we do. Now he's at literally 1% health. Now we just keep yucking. Oh, apparently it just needed to be a 1 HP. Sure. It's fine. the like small form of it finally become my ghosty boy of rage God. annihilate Another one done. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Uh, so I don't know how some like I don't know how some of these evolve. You know what I mean? I guess I know how Draco evolves. It's by level up. So I guess we'll just start there. 
My guess is that <clears throat> oh, there's a slack off. I need him. Um, my guess is the other guys are roughly the same way. So. Honestly, the last battle on Arceus was way worse than any of the battles that I have played in this. There were a couple of battles where I was like, okay, I'm being pushed a little. Mostly like the Wii 4 and the Champion, but then once I got my first 100, it's like, this is nothing. Because like, you, they're easy, like, if you do the, um, the Ace Tournament a few times, like, you know, or if you do a couple of terror raids, you get these XP candies that, you know, as long as you have one good Pokemon, you just, you exponentially increase. So let's see if Chingling evolves. Does Whimsicott have an evolved one? I don't know. Also, where's my egg? Where's that little thing in the jig? Must be in my bag. But I don't know how to evolve Chingling. So let's go in there. Also, I need to evolve you. But, you know, honestly, I think. I think we're gonna destroy this thing, and then I think we're really in a decent spot to say, like, okay, let's call the stream for now. I learned some things. I changed my bet rate. I got my OBS studio set up. Like, ultimately, like, it was a successful day. Like, 100% successful. Um, I can delete a couple of odds. Like, I don't really, it doesn't bother me that much. So, hurry. Like that that really doesn't bother me. It's the you know, I'd rather have figured this out now than when I have like a hundred concurrent viewers and I'm like, oh no, you guys can't see me because the stream's not good. I feel like somebody would tell me. But you know, once we hit like fifty followers, I'll probably start my own Discord server just because right now I don't know that anybody um uh, you know, I'm just borrowing Mingos, so I don't know if there's enough people to really have, like, to warn its own Discord right now, so. Never fought a Comfy before, huh? Teddy saw something again. Oh, oh no, my wife sneezed. That's why. That's why my dog thinks that everybody's dying when they sneeze. We got Comfy. I've heard of Comfy, but I never knew. Apparently caught one. Go 
get them. Serial Lodge. Serial Lodge. What is that? Oh, I need to. This is going to be quite the hole I get myself in if I keep going, so I think I need to catch this. We're going to call it. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It was meant to be, guys. It was meant to be. Alright. Well, that's going to be it for me. Like I said, it's in my uh, description, I think. But either way, uh, you have a lot of ways to spend your time. I'm glad that you spent it with me. I hope you learned something. I hope that you had some fun. Uh, maybe you made a new friend today. Either way, thank you for stopping in, and we'll see you next time. Bye.